Alright, what's up everyone? This is going to be a tutorial video. Um, it's my first one. Might be my only one, not sure, don't know if I'll do any more, but um, I was having trouble getting Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall to work for the last couple of days and I've been wanting to play that game. So I was looking on videos on how to install it correctly and play it with uh, DOSBox. Lots of confusing videos, not a lot are helpful, but some parts on each video were helpful to me to where I finally figured it all out. Um, but what you're going to want to do first is go to Google and type in Elder Scrolls uh, 4, or I mean not 4, Elder Scrolls 2 Daggerfall and download um, the stuff right off their site because it's free. And then you'll get uh, this when you download it you'll get this uh, WinRAR archive called uh, DF install now if you unrar that it will give you these two folders now what I did is I already made a DOS box or DOS games folder in my C directory and you might want to do that too maybe name it the same everything the same as I did so it doesn't confuse you but uh yeah anyways it's in my C directory and then I also made this folder called DF in one of the videos I saw someone did that and that was the one that I finally got mine to work on so I'm going to do the same thing don't know if it really matters but okay so these are the two folders that were in or that I unrard and I just need them right here after you on RAR, you're you're good. You just need to install and play the game. Everything right now is needs to be done on DOSBox. Okay, now that we open DOSBox, um, hold on, my phone's ringing. All right, I am back. Um, anyways, let's continue on. Open your DOSBox emulator, and you're going to want to mount. C to C directory dose games folder slash df folder. Now this is important. Type dash free size one thousand. So now it thinks that there's at least a thousand megabytes of free space in that folder or and whatnot. Anyways, we're going to want to mount our D drive next, so it thinks that there's a CD in the in the drive. But mount D space C, same thing pretty much. DOS games, DF dash DF CD capitalized dash T space CD ROM CD ROM lowercase letters space dash label lowercase levels then capital D on Daggerfall and type Daggerfall alright now go to your C drive directory or whatever in DOSBox um, and now we're gonna wanna install the game so I think I need okay directory okay I'm gonna want to go to CD DFCD now I'm in the DFCD folder directory and there's all uh, all of these right here and I'm gonna want to type in install dot exe now I can start installing it continue and agree to the terms install to your hard drive change the install size to huge because you're going to want as much of this game on your hard drive as possible so it doesn't have to read it off the supposed disk and the path don't worry about that your emulator is configured to the where the path is where you set it not to dagger supposedly that it says up there but wait a couple minutes um, until it's done installing.
I'll just stop. Okay. Uh, the installation is complete now, so we're going to want to set up our sound card. Now, um, could auto detect. When I do auto detect, it does not do the one that I think is the best. Um, but, I mean, it works. Kinda. But I'm going to want to change that. Um, to Sound Blaster 16, port 220, just all that the same. Actually, this one goes to 7, I'm pretty sure. Rest well this night. That sounds a lot better than the other one. Kind of cut out a little. Dagger for okay. Good, okay. Now select MIDI and go down to Sound Blaster 16. 388 test. It works. Go to OK, go down to OK again, press OK to save, and that's that for installation. Alright, now I'm in my dagger directory. This is where I got stuck. The video I saw said to type in dagger.exe. I typed that in. Let's see if it says it again. Looks like you inserted the wrong CD. Uh, that's a lot of shit because I have my mount, my D drive mounted with the supposed CD-ROM. Press any key. This is what you're going to want to type in. Fall dot. Whoops. Fall dot. E X E space Z dot C F G. Enter. And here it goes. Good old Daggerfall that I have never played, but soon will play. Wanted to check it out, and I finally got it working, and I haven't even started playing it yet. I wanted to do this tutorial video because people's other videos were not as helpful or they were just confusing and whatnot, and I thought maybe uh, I could make it a little simpler for some people. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. Load games, save, start a new one, whatever. It works. And that's the end of my tutorial video. So, um, peace out.